every day, one by one, I'm gonna try every recipe of Laura, starting from the very beginning. Come, join me on my challenge. Let's go. Hi everyone, my name is Ruth and welcome to the 177th day of my challenge where I'm gonna have some awesome, awesome lunch, but I will not lie, I'm feeling a little bit anxious today just because a couple of days ago I dealt with some seafood and there were some sneaky I'm alive surprises, which made me so, well, made me and the day in general so, so stressful. And I really hope that this won't happen today. I'm pretty confident that all the seafood I'm gonna use today is dead. Does that sound bad? I don't know, but I don't really care at this point. That was so scary for me. So anyways, today I'm gonna try grilled seafood salad and I don't know about you, but when I hear a word grilled, it's like, yay, because grilled anything is awesome, let's be honest. <laughs> so let's go over the ingredients and let's get started. We're gonna need 250 grams of fresh shrimp, peeled, deveined, cleaned, and patted dry, 125 grams of fresh scallops, cleaned and patted dry, 120 grams of whole calamari, cleaned and patted dry as well, zest and juice of half a small or quarter of a big lemon, one clove of garlic, grated, two grams of fresh parsley, finely chopped, one and three quarters of a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, divided into one and three quarters of a tablespoon, half a tablespoon of white wine vinegar, some fresh arugula, and salt and pepper. So here I am with my favorite bowl in this kitchen. I don't really think my mom even uses it that often, if ever, because it is so big, but I love it for that exact reason. It's so easy to mix everything in it because there's so much space and it's so quick. I'm like in love with this bowl, seriously. And it has, I'm like so, this is so not relevant to this recipe, but it has like a rubber bottom, so it grabs to the table so nicely and doesn't move. I'm like, I'm like stealing this bowl, I'm telling you. So now I will start by making the marinade for the seafood. So I'll take one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, the zest and juice of the lemon, garlic. I'm gonna season everything with salt and pepper, or maybe I will do that once I add the seafood in, because then I will be able to judge better how much salt and pepper I need. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Thinking on the spot, huh? <laughs> Anyways, so once I add all of the marinade ingredients, I'm gonna mix them to combine, then as I mentioned, add the seafood, and then using my hands, because I just love getting my hands dirty, I will coat everything really, really well with the marinade. way longer than I need to and I don't know why wait I know why I just really enjoy it such kind of job like getting my hands dirty I don't know what it says, says about me but <laughs> I'm like having fun here so anyways I will leave it now marinate for like five to seven minutes while I will go well first wash my hands and then put my grill pan to preheat over high heat and while I have nothing else to do right now, I figured, you know what? I'm gonna prepare the vinaigrette for the salad itself as well. So I have a new clean bowl, parsley, which I'm gonna take, extra virgin olive oil, white wine vinegar, I'm gonna season everything with a little bit of salt and pepper and just mix to combine. nothing else left to do mixing this vinaigrette so long so anyways I'll just wait now and go to the stove oh my goodness I'm like having deja vu right now and not a very good one last time I was near the stove with this grill pan and calamari I actually smoked up this home so bad that even fire alarm system went off so 
I'm feeling they should be a little bit more careful this time, maybe open a window or what's this called, the suction thingy? <laughs> so anyways, my grill pan is really, really close to being piping hot, which is exactly what you want. Uh, so once it's there, I'm gonna spray it with some nonstick cooking spray and start, and we'll start adding the seafood to it. Uh, uh, however much I can fit into it and then I will cook it for about three minutes on each side remove it and just continue until everything is done Apparently I'm quite the home smoker. I smoked up this home again so bad. That's why sorry for the background noise. I had to leave the window open just because I really don't want the fire alarm system going off this time again. So yeah, now I will move on to chopping up the seafood to bite-sized pieces and actually I need to do that only to the calamari because my shrimp and scallops are actually already bite-sized pieces, so I will just take them and add directly to the vinaigrette. After cutting the calamari into bite-sized pieces, I will add it there as well and then carefully mix everything together to coat with that amazing vinaigrette. And my mouth is watering like crazy. This smells... Oh, I cannot wait to have my lunch. so in love with my mom's plates they're all so pretty which now I will put the arugula not all I think it's way too much it's like 200 so maybe half of it like around 100 grams I'll see just to cover the bottom of it uh, to the plate and then scatter the seafood all over the top and then whatever left of the vinaigrette I will also drizzle all over the top and that's it for filming grilling kind of recipes is you have to be really really fast to enjoy the food while it's still warm so yeah Ruta will not hopefully talk too long today mm. man I'm a bit late I wish it was warmer <clears throat> but telling you anything grilled look at me I'm like eating I won't lie this is my lunch maybe with some leftovers mmm love it love it love it love it you like look at me having lunch with you <laughs> if you like seafood try this recipe oh my god i see such a tasty beef, beef. <laughs> there's like a piece of shrimp which is just ah oh, i have to run i feel like i have stuff all over me i'm just like so in such a hurry to just go and have this lunch because it's so awesome so if you like seafood definitely give this one a try because it's really really quick and the payoff is amazing so yeah with that i'll be running because i want to catch this these pieces of seafood while they're still warm and if you want go and check the original recipe by laura there the written one you can find in the description box down below in both american and the metric systems i wonder if you can actually see how much smoke there's actually in this home <laughs> i don't think you can but like man we have this kind of like a cartoon, not even weeds, uh, I think it's Russian made, it's like a hedgehog in the smoke or in the fog, in the fog I guess, <laughs> so I feel like a hedgehog, <laughs> I don't even see almost the door there in the corner, yeah, I'm really bad at not not chatting so i'll be running away with that thank you so much for watching i really hope that this was fun and helpful and i'll see you soon bye